So there's this rumor that's been circulating around that Bandai Namco may be developing the upcoming Metroid Prime 4 game. Uh, this rumor began when a job posting on LinkedIn uh, for the studio mentioned development on a quote, unannounced IP first person shooter slash adventure exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, that sounds a lot like Metroid Prime, right? Uh, it's also not crazy to think Bandai Namco might work on a big Nintendo project like this as, you know, re even recently they worked on the last Smash Brothers game, as well as Pokémon Tournament. But today, Eurogamer is going out on a limb and claiming they have confirmed with multiple sources that yes, that game is in fact Metroid Prime 4, Bandai Namco Singapore is the lead development team in collaboration with Nintendo. Also interesting to note, I'm assuming they also got this from these quote sources, uh, is they mentioned the game was still in early development and perhaps may not launch this year, potentially leaving room for a Metroid Prime Trilogy collection for the Switch. If you follow my channel regularly, you know that just about every time I've been bringing up Metroid, I also mentioned we need a Prime Trilogy HD collection type deal before Prime 4 comes out. So anything that gives me hope uh, that that might happen, just it makes me happy. It'd be a shame if newcomers don't get a chance to catch up on the series before 4 comes out because, you know, I know there's a lot of Switch owners out there who haven't gotten a chance to play these games. So Bandai Namco on Prime 4 seems to be almost a sure thing at this point. I don't use the language like confirmed or anything until the companies involved actually confirm it themselves. You know, if I do use confirmed in like the title or something here, I'll put it in quotes or something. But it seems more than likely now, so, you know, how does that make us feel? Uh, Bandai Namco is one of those companies, that, in my opinion, that are always a bit hit or miss for me, honestly. Uh, it obviously depends on whether or not they get the right teams on the right projects and all that. Uh, they've been doing some pretty good stuff lately, I'll say. They put out that uh, Dragon Ball Fighters game. They just did that with Arc System. They've got that Code Vein game coming out that uh, looks pretty damn sick, in my opinion. Sort of an anime, Dark Souls type deal. An interesting thing to mention about this Singapore team, by the way, is that they have some of the people that were working on that Star Wars 1313 game before, you know, the whole Disney buyout thing happened and there was the studio closures and such. If you're not familiar, I'm sorry I have to curse you with this knowledge, but 1313 was this project where you were going to play as, I believe, a bounty hunter or something like that in the Star Wars universe. It was going to be like a third-person shooter, action-adventure kind of game, and yeah, it looked amazing visual-wise. Obviously, since it was a single-player Star Wars game without loot boxes, you know, it couldn't be allowed to live. Something had to get it killed, right? Leaving us all with just the dreams of what could have been, but since Metroid is obviously a similar sci-fi sort of game, uh, I could see a lot of the work they did on that game uh, translating nicely to Prime 4, obviously not like they're going to be using assets or anything, but, you know, a lot of the ideas of what they were doing on that 1313 game I could see uh, working with a game like Prime 4. Sure, it wasn't actually a game that got made, but, you know, if they showed us something that looked similarly as awesome, but was Metroid, uh, I can guarantee you I'd be hyped as hell. Also, let's not forget, this is still a Nintendo game. I feel like when we see these sorts of announcements, people take this as, like, Nintendo is going, you know, here you go, guys, make this, and uh, we'll see you on launch day, or something like that. No, they know Prime 4 is going to be the big game of the year, whenever it does come out. Uh, unless, it, of course, it comes out the same year as Pokemon. Pokemon is clearly going to be the big game whenever that comes out. But sans Pokemon, this will be the major release of the year. Uh, that it does end up coming out. And Nintendo is going to be heavily involved to ensure that we end up with a quality product. You know, they've surely learned from the mistakes they've made with, say, The Other M, okay? I have faith. And with the way they teased this game during the initial announcement, and surely the way they've seen 
uh, the fans' reactions to uh, Metroid Prime 4, they know this is going to be a huge deal. I just, man, I, I really do hope we get that trilogy before that point. People need to play those games, uh, not just because they're awesome, but, you know, like I said, I do think it would be much easier to sell people on the fourth entry of something if they have a way to catch up with the games before then. I think getting that trilogy collection in 2018 and then Prime 4 coming out in 2019 would be awesome. But, you know, we'll see, right? So with that, this video's a wrap. Let me know what you think about Bandai Namco working on Metroid Prime 4 in the comments. Are you more hyped? Less hyped? Uh, personally, I'm hopeful. Again, I think Bandai Namco has been putting out some really great stuff lately and making great use of their teams. And I don't think there's any way this becomes something the higher-ups at Nintendo allow to, like, you know, slip through the cracks, so to speak. They know the fans are starving for a new large-scale Metroid game. I think they're going to go really hard on this to deliver something outstanding. But yeah, let me know what you think. As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.